Wondering how to unlock all of the different vocations as well as their powerful Meister teaching ultimate skills so you can power up your playthrough and get those nice achievements? Well, don't worry, we have you covered here with a handy and speedy walkthrough. Drop a like below if we help you out and let's not waste your time and jump right into it. First up will be how to get the Meister's teaching skills for the starter and advanced vocations. We'll begin with the fighter and Lennart is the Meister. He's found in Melv here on the map and later in the story through various side quest completions he will move here in half. The fighter Meister's teaching skill is Riotous Fury whereby you rain a flurry of blows on an enemy dealing massive damage at the cost of stamina. To get this you need to progress through the main story missions at the beginning of the game, through the border watch checkpoint, through Melv and onto the main city of Vermund, which is Vernsworth. Here you talk to Captain Brandt at the tavern at night and complete one of his missions. After doing this, you then travel back to Melv in the ox cart and there'll be a dragon attacking it. Repel or cheese the dragon with the ballista in the tower and then soon afterwards talk to Lennart, complete any side quests that he has to give you if you haven't done them already at this point, and he will give you the Meister's teaching skill scroll with this amazing move. I got this immediately after repelling the dragon, so it shouldn't be too hard. Next is the Archer Meister's teaching skill which requires completing a series of side quests with the elves. I recommend hiring a pawn in the rift with the specialization that allows you to understand what the elves are saying. It's called Woodland Wordsmith. I actually have this on my pawn currently. If you want to hire her, she's a kitted out mage with lots of heals and buffs. Here's her ID. For this quest, you will also want access to a bow, so it's recommended you play either the archer or the warfarer so you can shoot a bow because it is a part of the quest. The Meister's teaching skill for the archer is called the Heavenly Shot, which will drain all of your stamina to lose an exceptionally powerful shot. Not long after you arrive in Vernsworth for the first time after the first few main story missions, you will see an elf near the weapon vendor shop. This is Glendare and talking with him will give you the quest called the Gift of the Bow. You then need to buy or find any human and bow and give it to him. He will then ask you to meet him so that he can learn how to shoot it. Travel to the quest marker on the map with a vocation that can use a bow, shoot the targets and then watch as he learns from you and you've now completed the first part of this. If you have one, place a port crystal because we will need to come back here later. After doing this, go back to the main city of Vernsworth and pass a day at the inn. Glenda will then arrive at the same location by the weapon vendor and ask you to join him for a archer trial that he needs to take. Now you must go back to the quest marker a similar area as before, hence the port crystal being very useful. Travel with Glendare and kill mobs along the way until you finally get to the sacred arbor which is the home of the elves. Here you will learn that his sister and the daughter of the leader of this area has been kidnapped by an ogre. Now you must travel to the Ancestral Chambers cave, defeat the enemies inside and at the very end you will find the ogre. You then need to quickly kill the ogre and move Dorian to safety in order to complete this quest successfully. After you've saved her and beat the ogre, you will then be thanked and you will get a nice chunk of 16k gold and a pretty good bow. Return then to the Sacred Arbor, rest a day at the inn, and speak with Taliesin the elven leader to receive the Heavenly Shopmeister's teaching scroll. Next is the Thief Meister's teachings obtained through main story progression of Brant's various quests in Vernsworth. You need to do his quests until you can ask him about the False Sovereign and you'll get a quest called the Nameless Village. This is where you will gain two Thief Meister's teaching scrolls, the Formless Feint, the true teaching that allows you to dodge all attacks automatically as it drains your stamina, as well as the fake version Blades of the Pyre where you draw your blades together to do an explosion that adds fire to your weapon and damages enemies but also yourself. You must make your way to the nameless village here east of Fernsworth. You then want to talk to Flaud and the house at the top of the hill and he will claim to know nothing about Arthur. After this he'll just give you the fake Meister's teaching for the Blades of the Pyre. You will then need to travel here to this small hole with a ladder, go down and you'll find a cave with various platforming tasks that you must go through including planks that will move based on your weight. So you need to angle them so you can run forwards and jump to the next and after doing this parkour you will eventually meet Shrail at the end and this is the true thief master who will grant you the pilfer's handbook scroll to learn formless feint and amazing thief skill. Next is the mage and sorcerer together because they both require the same five special items. The mage meister's teaching is an insanely good support skill called celestial peon that summons a wave of holy light that juices your whole party's stamina, gives you bonus speed and reduced damage taken that does consume all of the caster's stamina and knock them off their feet. The sorcerer however gets two meister's teaching spells Maelstorm that conjures a whirlwind to wreak havoc on enemies and Meteoron to summon a literal meteor shower. Firstly, you need to get the five spellbook quest items though. 
Fulminus Shield is sold by Dudley, which can be found as a wandering merchant here in Melv, and if he isn't here, you might also find him in Vernsworth. Towering Earth is gained by completing the main quest called the Caged Magistrate, and you get this from Brant in Vernsworth. You need to finish the quest to find the kid Malcolm by talking to Kendrick here in the slums in Vernsworth. Talk to all of the kids in the slums and you'll discover that he went down a secret passage underground, then Kendrick will reveal this passage and you must go in there to save the boy and find the library. Travel to the jail where the magistrate is being held and tell him of this library and he will agree to leave and move there. After this, rest a day, then go to the underground library to receive this book off of the magistrate. Howling Blizzard and Death Nation's Toll can be found together here in the Waterfall Cave to the north of the map. It's located here in the cave, but be warned when you open this chest, it will summon a white or a lich boss to defeat. The Let There Be Light is found in Murdin's house in the checkpoint rest town. You're going to go here for the sorcerer hand in anyway, but you need to parkour on this ruin and jump in the window to steal this book first. Do not enter the house and do this normally or he will attack you. You must sneak in and get it through the window. Now you have all five books, you want to make a forgery of each one so you can hand in to get all of these different Meister skills in one playthrough. Go to the scrap shop in the checkpoint rest town here and pay to make a forgery of each book. Rest on a bench and spam doze off four times and that will be a long enough period of time for the forgery to be complete. Do this for all five of the books. After this, equip your courtly clothes and go to the front door of Murdin's house here in the checkpoint rest town. He will let you in if you wear these clothes and then you can talk to him and he will request that you bring him these books. You want to trade him the forgery, the fake version of each book and this will give you the Maelstorm Meister's Teaching Scroll. Next, you need to go here on the map to this little girl's house where Trisha is located. You will probably need to rest between various interactions with her, but luckily there is a camp just nearby. Talk with the girl until she requests the spell books so she can learn magic. Trade her the real version of each book and then rest a day or two and return to the house. You'll find her outside going on a complete rampage casting spells she is completely out of control. You need to wait until she gets tired and you see her panting after casting a spell. At this point, run up to her and grab her with R2 to stop her rampage. After this, rest a day and return to the house and then talk with everyone inside and you will gain the Meister's teaching for the second Sorcerer spell Meteoron as well as the Mage Meister teaching for Celestial Peon. These are some awesome moves. Next is the Warrior where you can gain the Arc of Might skill, which channels all of your strength into a single powerful blow but consumes all stamina. For this, you must travel here and talk to Baron. He will ask you to bring him a new recruit as well as three swords. Buy three swords from any weapon vendor and meet the boy called Humphrey in Vernsworth. He approached us here on the map, but you can wander around or rest at an inn and he should find you. After this, go to Baron and he will thank you for the swords and the recruit of the boy. He will then challenge you to a duel and if he doesn't do this right away, rest and then return. During the duel, you just need to fight him until you can pick him up and throw him out of the circle and this will have you win. After this though, goblins will attack and you must follow them and kill all the goblins. Rest until night time and return to Baron's location here on the map and talk with him, causing a cyclops to attack. Kill this monster and then talk with Baron once more and you'll get the Life Taker Greatsword. Baron will then say that he's leaving Vernsworth and you must now find him in Batal. He will be here on the map, just south of the checkpoint rest town border, and when you talk to him, he will thank you and give you the Meister's Teaching for the Warrior. Next up is how to get the hybrid vocations and unlock their Meister's Teaching skills. For the trickster, you just need to go here on the map to the Shrine of the Oracle. By talking with the Oracle's ghost form, you will gain the trickster vocation. But if you want to acquire the Meister's teaching skill Dragon's Delusion, which summons an illusionary dragon to fear smaller enemies and trip larger ones, you will need to go around to the side of the shrine and climb this ladder to the top. Walk near the very front and you will see the Oracle's physical form and she'll reward you with her Meister's teaching skill. Pretty easy, right? Next is the Mystic Spearhand, which requires the same prerequisite quests as the Fighter Vocations Meister skill. Travel to Vernsworth at the start of the game through the main story and complete a single quest from Brant and then travel back to Melv. When you come back to Melv, there will be a dragon that you must repel or kill. If you want to gain the vocation and the Meister's teaching all together at the same time very easily, you need to kill the dragon. You're unlikely to do this on your first playthrough, however you can cheese it by using the ballista in the tower to shoot it three times which will kill it outright. This will give you the vocation and the Meister's teaching skill when you talk to Sigurd afterwards if the dragon is dead. Sigurd can also be found here on the map in Harv if you missed him in this Melv encounter. 
If you didn't manage to kill the dragon or you don't want to cheese it this way, you will then need to travel to the Dragon's Breath Tower here on the map. It's a long and hard climb with a lot of monsters along the way, but when you get to the tower, you'll meet Sigurd and you must then go to the top to defeat this dragon once and for all. After defeating it, he will then give you the Meister's Teaching for Wild Fury, which will summon a clone to do a flurry of attacks with you at the cost of a lot of stamina. Then we have the Magic Archer next, and it's a fairly simple one once again. You must travel here to the map at the Volcanic Island. At this spot, you will find a dwarf who needs three common herbs to soothe his pain. These are located all around, so it should be quite easy. After giving him the herbs, he invites you to his home. Go to his home where you will then meet his wife, an elf, who is very skeptical of you. You need to then escort him to the nearby camp to the hot spring. You can either carry him there and escort him defeating monsters along the way, or you can defeat the monsters beforehand to just run him there pretty easily, or you can place a port crystal in the camp, pick him up and then teleport to that port crystal, skipping the whole journey. Once you get him to the hot spring, his elf wife will appear, saying that she followed you because she didn't trust you, but she has now seen that you were truthful. She will give you the magic archer vocation, and when you talk to her again, you'll get the Meister's teaching skill for the Martyr's Bolt skill, which is an extremely powerful ability that one-shots many bosses, but costs your maximum HP. Then we have the Warfarer vocation next. For this, you need to talk to Le Monde in the Hot Spring area in the Volcanic Island where you carried the Dwarf to for the Magic Archer. He will ask you for some Newt liquor and you will need to give him three to four of these. You can get these in several ways. Either craft it with fruit, wine, and sore entails, or find them. And there is one in the Elf and Dwarf's house, the Magic Archer Meister, if you've already got that vocation. There is a vendor in Batal that you can access if you are either a Beastrin or wear a Beastrin mask and then move this sack in to the fence and you can buy them for 5k gold each. If you manage to get one, you can also duplicate them at the scrap vendor by making a forgery of it and this will just straight up give you two after the forgery is finished. So gather, buy or forge three to four of these and then give them to Le Monde in the hot spring. After you give these to him, he will unlock the Warfarer vocation for you, and talking with him again will give the Meister's teaching skill for rearmament, which is an important skill for this vocation, as it allows you to switch between the multiple weapons that you have equipped. And so there you have it, how to get every vocation and their Meister's teaching skills. We hope this one helped you out, drop a like if we did help, and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma coming your way very soon.